Hello, everybody. Today we got a mail call from Diecast Car Guru. Very excited to get into it. And uh, this is a very special Christmas mail call. He left this little Christmas card in there um, with handwriting much neater than mine. Um, but this is per perfect because this will be my last like long video of 2022, I should say. Because, uh, well, I'll, I'll talk about what's coming next at the end of the video. I'm not going anywhere. I'm just, I have a new idea for December. And this will be the last, like, regular scheduled program. And then we'll have our special holiday program. So that, that's what I'm talking about. So, and uh, I think I think it'll be interesting. But, uh, yeah, let's, let's uh, go through this. And first we got some Walmart bags, which is always great to see Walmart bags. Because, as I said before, New York has not... They have banned plastic bags, so. These are like uh, unknown species to me. Um, <laughs> and uh, we got some matchbox right on top here. So we start with, we'll start with the moving parts. Oh yeah. We got the Mercedes-Benz G500 Cabrio. Very cool casting for Matchbox. I actually found the black version for him last year. But you know, I like it. But I decided to wait to see if they were going to do a moving parts one. Because I feel like it would be better if it wasn't black. And yeah, I can... I like the silver with the black trim. I think I'm kind of glad I waited on that. Because that that's a very nice combo. And it's really hard to look at it with these... Just, packaging which is very obscure but it's also pretty clean looking um i don't think this packaging is going anywhere for 2023 uh, i think it's staying for at least another year it is what it is i mean i'm not too nuts about that and then here we have the jeep fc this is a model that i've never heard of until matchbox it's like oh we're doing the jeep fc and i'm like oh you say it like i'm supposed to know what a fc is well, I mean, it wouldn't make sense. I'm not a Jeep guy, but this is a really cool model. I love the color on it. So very unique to add to any collection, really, and especially a Matchbox collection. This is, what is this, the second mix of, of um, moving parts? I think this was the second mix with the FJ and the Porsche, which, like, never showed up in my area, and I think all I really need is the Porsche. Um... And right now, this mix is showing up in my area, and I found the Hummer and the Charger. I think the Charger. Yeah, it's a Charger, not a Challenger. Uh, no Evo, though. And uh, last of the movie, we kind of went backwards here, but this is from Mix 1 2021. Or 2022, sorry. Uh, the, Land the Range Rover... Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> Oh, uh, Land Rover, Range Rover, Evoke. They, couldn't they just settled with Range Rover? I mean, seriously. Well, this is a beautiful model. Like, that, um, white metal flake. Range Rover, Evoke. And, of course, it's, it's, uh, scaled similar to the hardtop, which when I pull that one out of the package, I can review it, which will be next year, because, well, not, not unless I include it into... Um, what's the thing? Include it into the uh, oh, uh, and you know what? I didn't reveal that yet. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> uh, I was, I was almost gonna spoil my uh, I uh, asked not like anything extravagant, but I told you, I was telling you at the end of the video, and I'm trying to tell you about it now. And here we have a custom. Let's get, get out of the bag, we, we have to open the custom. If I can open the bag. Uh, come on. Let's free the Lexus. Oh, jeez. Who knew I would struggle at opening a bag today? Look at that. Oh, kind, of a, oh, kind of fitting, though, because this is like a Christmassy bronze. This is like a bell color. And I like how it didn't really affect the headlights or taillights very much and he added the marker lights the grill detailing 
very cool color. And he did... Yeah, he did drill it. I don't know. That's a nice color. Come on, Matchbox, you gotta take some notes. I like how, like, that, that died really well. So, yeah, like, I've said before, he dyes these models. And, um... Yeah, it looks very clean. Really like how it came out. I can't, I'll be looking at it after the video too. Uh, what's next? What's next? What's next? We'll continue with the Matchbox theme here. And oh, yes, this is a new model that I've been very excited for: the 2018 Jeep Wrangler. A two door. So we already have the four door model, and this is the two door now. Um, of course, the Jurassic Park livery. I mean, it's not too in your face. It's very content, actually. And I like the fact that it actually gives you the... It's almost a matte fin. It looks like it's like a textured roof. Can you see? Eh, you probably can't see because of my light. But it looks like it has some sort of texture to it. I don't know. That looks cool. Really excited to open this one up. Actually... I'm gonna do it right now. I mean, it would have been nice if I saved that, uh, um, the F-150, but I didn't, and I could have opened this one with the F-150, but I did not, so let's just open it right now. We'll do a mini review. Of course, I'm trying to knock everything off the desk. Wait. And yeah, this will let you see that roof a little better. And yeah, sure enough, it has like a texture to it. Look at that. I don't know if that's the casting or if it's just the the paint. It's got like a, um, what do you call it? Like a bed liner feel to it. Really nice casting. I'm sure this parks up very nicely with the four door, which I do not have up here. They're all downstairs, so. This is your two-door Jeep Wrangler. And of course, they can use this model in lines other than the Jurassic Park or Jurassic World. I know, I had to dig into it, didn't I? Wonderful little model. And here's another one. I love collecting this one. The Nissan Junior. In the new Japan Origin set that we all know kind of, kind of, maybe, little, is terrible. <laughs> We got two new decos in this second half of the mix. So that gives us four new decos out of 12 models. That is not good odds at all. I would at least like to see six new models, at least half. Uh, but this one is very strong. Probably one of the strongest of the whole set. You know, because it's nice and simple. It goes back to its, uh, um, you know, first release where it's just the front details and the rear details. And I love the orange on it. Like, that's awesome. That's awesome. Very strong one. Very strong one. And uh, we're not going to have any room. You know what? The moving parts aren't going to... You know, we'll rotate the carded stuff out. I'm pretty sure I can keep the loose models there. We'll rotate the carded stuff. We'll let the junior get a little background action. And, um... Next is oh okay that's not um here we have a Carmella or car no there's no L in it <laughs> Carama Carama yeah uh this is a Volvo XC90 and uh he found this in the why is the sleeves on here so tight he found this in the eBay lot and he already had it. And he's like, you want it? I'm like, oh, sure. I don't have any Carmellas. Or, oh my god, I keep putting an L on it. And this sleeve is like really on there. We need to pull this out. But <laughs> it's going to be a kickback. Oh, jeez. They really put that on there. I know, let's get the Volvo out. Oh my god, this is on there too. Jeez. <laughs> trying not to damage the Volvo. There we go. 
So these are like really premium um what scale are they? 162? Very nice background. It's, it's, it's like, it looks like a postcard. Um I think they're 172 scale. Oh yeah, it says it on the box, 172, duh. Alright, let's not click that back together because I'll never get the model back in there. Well, let's take a look. That's a really nice detail, really. So it's a Volvo XC90. Love the headlight details. Got a decal for the grill. You got some black trim painted. MLB on the plate. Some um, factory correct rims. You got your mirrors. You got your roof rack, which is a separate plastic piece. Tail lights looking good. That's awesome. Very, very surprised with the amount of detail they can pack in here. Even they painted the exhaust. The exhaust tips, XC90. Just for comparison, if you have the Matchbox XC90, this is your size difference. <laughs> Actually, let's get a nose on the ground. Yeah, very tiny, very tiny. I don't want to drop it. So this is, what year would this be? It looks like probably maybe, I think it's a little newer than the Matchbox one. Is the Matchbox? Yeah, Matchbox 2004. So I I think this is around a 2008. But I'm sure Diecast Car Group would clarify that. And uh, we've reached the next layer of the box. And, uh, oh, where do we start? Mm, oh, yeah. Uh, let's do go back to Matchbox for a little bit, and we will get the Global Series. Uh, drop the Audi. Um, yeah, available at Target only, or unless you're in Europe, then these are probably more um, out there. Here's the '62 Mercedes Benz 220 SE, and you got a nice decal on the hood there. Super fast. And the Mercedes badge, very clean livery. You know, it's very inspired by some of the old touring cars, which is what they do with this casting a lot. Oh, uh, this is probably the cleanest livery. I don't know, the white one was pretty clean, even though it was a touring car. But yeah, I've been enjoying this casting and the color looks good of it. Um, this is gonna be some tedious rotating of the background, but we'll do it. Here's the 2019 Audi TT RS Coupe. This is a nice one. I really like this one. The orange with the, the darker rims, that, that's such a good combo. And uh, we'll have to move the other orange vehicle, which is the Nissan Junior. So, oh, I like how it says 2022 on there. That's a nice touch, actually. So now everybody can get yell at me when I review it in 2021 or 2023. Oh God. Um, oh yeah. Ooh. Um, what's this one? That's the golf and the Unimog. Those are going to fall. Yeah, it did fall. Oh, okay. One moment, please. Yeah, it's still gonna fall. Okay, well, if it falls, it falls. Okay, so here is the Unimog 5023. Dang, this thing's from the future now. <laughs> Love the police livery on this thing. The paddy wagon. So they, they introduced this model in the Jurassic Park line, and then I think it only got releases there. So I think this is the first, like, non-Jurassic Park release, even though those releases were pretty basic. They were just, like, military green, so they, they had no ties to Jurassic Park. But 
Oh, they are numbered. We're not going in number order because at the same time, there were some repeat models in here. And I actually needed some of the repeats anyway. Um, like this one, the Volkswagen Golf, not the Mercedes. The Golf, it is a repeat from, I think, the 2008, 2009 version, um, which I do not have. So this one is very nice. But it, of course, it is a retooled body. GTI. Love it. Love the color, too. Like, one of the few cars that can really pull off a purple, like, this vibrant. Like, you know, you see a lot, like, I think Cadillac, I think, at one point had, like, a really deep purple. And, of course, you got Nissan with the midnight purple. But, like, you don't see cars with this vibrant of a purple. But I think Volkswagen is one of the only ones that can really pull it off with the Golf here. I love it. Looks good. And also... I just noticed the card art doesn't have a license plate. That's all black trim. Well, on here, it's a license plate, and they don't paint the black trim. It's always, it's always been like that, but I just noticed it. Oh, oh no. We almost put it to the side. No, no, that one gets some background. <laughs> uh, what's next? Uh, oh, yeah, oh, you know what? We'll save the new model for last. Okay, let's get the other police vehicle. The M5. Love this casting. And uh, this deco is pretty cool with the uh, the Euro plate there, the trim on the front. I'm kind of reviewing these when they're not open. No trim on the back, but you know, the side deco is what you want. Matchbox Germany on the side there, like that. The headlights look really good. I, is this the first time they detail the headlights? Because I feel like on all the other versions I have, I've painted the headlights myself. Um, you know what, we'll put them together. Okay, I'm saying um too much, I just realized that, but we'll put that with the Unimog for now. And then here is your GLE Coupe, which is actually a re-release. And it's funny because I gave Diecast Car Groove this version maybe almost two years ago. Maybe it was two years ago. Uh the original one, which is Jurassic Park, and now they re-released it in the uh global set, and I got it back. Which at the time, I wasn't collecting this casting, but now I am. But you know, I didn't worry too much about it. But now I have all of them, I think. So, yeah, so maybe I'll do a collection video on this one next year. I want to bring that series back because I kind of haven't been contributing to that series. And it was pretty fun to do. And I just haven't had time. I thought that stripe was like lower than that stripe, but they're not. Uh, yeah, I haven't been contributing to that series as much as I would like to do, so. It is what it is. And, um, yes, the new model, the Porsche Cayman Turbo. Love this thing. Oh, my gosh. That Okay, this is another one that, when I was listing the metallic black cars, I forgot about this one. But, yes, look at that. The headlight details look really good. You got your Porsche logo, you got your markers, and you got your rear tail lights and then the bar the led strip that goes across there porsche kind of this pat this casting is just perfect that's awesome and uh the red recolor coming out too is just amazing as well and uh and i noticed something about this packaging it's like got like a laminated feel to it like it's not like the other matchbox packaging the, the mainline matchbox packaging or even like the the japan set I mean, it's kind of laminated, but I don't know, that one just has a different feel, and you can even see when the light reflects on it. I don't know. I'm making stuff up here. But speaking of the Japan series, we have the Nissan Z, which I presume is still the retooled version. I don't know why, but they would ever bring back the more accurate one. But we'll work, yeah, we'll work with what we have. At least it still has an interior. But I love this livery. This is the third vehicle to sport this Japanese police livery. It's not the most accurate livery, but I do really like it. And the gold rims on here are perfect. So they had the WRX, the earlier WRX in the earlier mix. And then they also did the uh, 2016 WRX way back in, I don't know if it, I think it was the 2015 WRX in 2016. Uh, so that one's been around for a long time. I don't have that one, nor do I have the other WRX, but... I have the Z now, which probably is my favorite. Even though it is the, the new casting. 
So we'll stick these two back here, but they ain't gonna stay there for very long because ooh, ooh, ooh. we got some Boulevard models. Yes. So yeah, um, these are awesome. And these, I think I'm going to include in, well, you know, I'll tell you at the end. <laughs> Mercedes-Benz AMG E36 Estate Special Edition. Edition Speciale. Um, yeah, they forgot to do the doors. I think that's the special edition. Yeah, climb out the window. Oh, uh, yeah, but other than that, I really love this casting. And it's really cool to see a classic Benz wagon in the Hot Wheels line. It's got a very simple body kit on it. Besides the fact that they forgot to make openings for the door. I'm going to, like, really make fun of them for that. But trying to look past that, I really love how this came out. And this will look really good with the black hammer that they did in the main line. And it'll also look good with the black, what is it, the, uh, what's the, what's the, the other, I don't know. I don't know. Is it the 190E? Yeah, it is. Ah, uh, yeah, remembered. So it'll be fun to put them together. Sorry, Kaiman, make way. Jeez, we have like, just circling out the black vehicles now. Right, speaking of that, which actually, no, this isn't black. Wow, I, th I was thinking this was black the whole time. It's a really deep blue. And I think I like that so much better. This is the Forerunner. You already know. The 50th, or not the 50th, oh jeez. No, it's not that old. Is it the 30th anniversary? Or 40. I was figuring that said so. It looks like a four. Ah, oh, I can't remember now. Is it the 30th anniversary or the 40th? Or maybe it's the 35th. It's one of those. But yeah, this is oh, beautiful color. Beautiful color. And then we got the TE 37s. Awesome detailing. Okay. This one's definitely getting included in that series when I reveal that series. This one, and it's definitely getting included in the background here. I think this is the last Boulevard mix of 2022 because that one's number 60. And then, and actually, he found those. The same time he was finding those, I was finding new Auto Worlds, and we decided to do a little exchange. He's getting, and I'll just quickly show what he's getting here: the Supra in green, which is just beautiful. And I had, I got myself one too, which I will review at some point, probably next year. And the square body in like this gunmetal with the black trim. It's just a very menacing look, and I love it. Awesome piece, awesome piece. So yeah, that's what he's getting for helping me with the boulevards. All right, we got a bunch of little loose cars running around at the bottom here. So let's pull them out. Oh, a couple of their customs too. Oh yeah. Oh. Well, actually, most of them are customs. Oh, and most of them are cars. Well, where do we start? Actually, you know what? You always have to save the customs for last because they're just great. They're awesome. So we will start here with Maisto doing something right. And this, this Econo line. The first version in green was pretty nice. I love that, like, classy green color. And now they kind of moder uh, uh, can't speak. modernized it with this blue metal flake. And it pops so well. I mean, they even color matched it well. But, like, it looks a lot better on the metal. That is a very, very nice color. Oh, let me just put the bag away. I almost forgot, or I almost thought that said Davidson Ford on the side of it, but that says Division. Uh, Davidson Ford is the Ford dealer near me. Love the uh, detailing on the front there. Gee, Majorette, or not Majorette, Maisto. Jeez, 
they're really stepping up their game with their castings and he got this in a multi-pack with some of the new colors and this is well i mean this one is newer it's not the newest but some of the newest ones are just extraordinary for my stow standards like i could not believe that they were my stow uh this thing's gonna be kind of a bolt so we might have to put the ford the volvo in front of it or else it's gonna like get lost in the background And then we got, before we get to the customs, this is very interesting. And I'm going to need a story on where he got this. This is Lexus, of course. It seems to me like it's a key fob or like a key protector. And this is where you would push the buttons. That's what, that's what I think. I mean, I could be wrong. But that's what it looks like to me. So, uh, oh, we gotta know what, whose Lexus did you steal this from? <laughs> That's pretty cool. Very nice quality, too. I mean, it's, of course, the Lexus, so. And, uh, this will be the little protector for, like, the, the little LS. We can slide it through there. <laughs> uh, it's not gonna fit. All right, dang it, Matchbox, you gotta put such big wheels on there. That's cool. Of course, probably can't use it on the Force. Oh, yeah, you definitely can't use it on the Force. Or he gave me a protector for that key anyway. It would be funny if it fit, but of course my buttons are not that sized. But that is very cool. And very uh, well, yeah, of course the quality is good. I love the little knickknacks like that for cars. And uh, well, speak, before we get to more Lexuses, well, we do have some custom Lexus here, but we also have some others, including this one so it's kind of this tesla model x is kind of similar to this one but just because this one was like that pearlized white it gives it like that yellow hue to it while this one was just like a regular metal flake white so that's why it's a little different in the shade but uh that's a very interesting color it's like it's almost like when you look at it from the side it reminds me of This Volvo, kind of, a little bit, the color. Like, it looks like a, uh, maybe not. Maybe now that I got them together, it doesn't <laughs> And, of course, it kind of color shifts a little bit. Like, from the side, it gives it, like, a very silver bronze. And then when, in the darker area, it looks like a deep yellow. Um, of course, he did. Oh, look at that. We got, we got the tablet is lit up in there. That's awesome detailing. Good job on that. Wow. Oh, he painted the whole dashboard too. Yeah, that looks good. What an awesome piece. The, the fun thing about the dyeing the models is that they look like a factory release. Because, I mean, especially this one. I don't know what color he used to get the finish on this one and this one too. But it doesn't harm the original decals. So it looks like a factory release. And of course, this one I don't have a problem with the wheels, unlike Lexus. I don't know what Matchbox was thinking there. Um, all right, you know what? I think we have to go with the Lexuses because those Mazdas are just awesome. We'll get to those, but now, now, what was I gonna say? I forgot what I was gonna say. But I'm definitely gonna have to make room for. Um, more Lexuses in my case because uh, these ones are definitely going to crowd it a little bit. Oh, so this is the one he left drilled so I could swap the wheels and the back post does not want to go in there. But he did, if it was in there, you could see the brake light in there. I don't know why. Is that in all the way? Oh, did, oh he did do the brake light on this one too. Well, Matchbox, it would be helpful if it was kind of up a little farther. And I think this is a Matchbox design issue. But I think the brake light should not be <laughs> in the trunk. But yeah, he did detail the brake light. Or, yeah, I think that's the brake light. Yeah, it's definitely brake light. I just thought the base was falling off. Which it was, but... And he detailed silver trim on the grill. And the markers... 
And all the talites are okay. They can either leave them alone. So this one's similar in color. I think it's just a little darker. It doesn't show up that well on camera, but I think this one's a little darker. Of course, my camera does not like focusing on it. And what's next? I'll get the red one next. Red one's in the the, the very protected bag. Like that, that's a that's a really good quality bag. Oh, that's not. Red. <laughs> well, now I feel stupid. That's not red. Is that it's midnight purple? Actually, that <laughs> that's that is like dead on midnight purple three. That is awesome. That is such a good effect. It, it look, <laughs> I can't believe it looked like it was red. So did he paint this one, or is this one still dyed? No, this one's dyed. Okay, so must have this one must have did affect the headlights if he painted over them. I thought he painted the headlights and taillights because he um, sprayed this, but no, he dyed this. Is awesome. Like, and then you get it like this, and it's just pure purple, and then all of a sudden, boom, orange. That's Midnight Purple 3. I like it. I approve. Nissan Skyline color on Lexus. I approve. I don't, it looked... Yeah, like, if I bring it down into the shadow, it looks like a maroon. I don't know. It still shows up. It still shows up purple on camera, but... If you look at it with the naked eye in the shadow, because the orange starts showing, it looks like a dark maroon. So that's why I thought it was red until I got into the light and I was like so caught off guard. Like it looked like this kind of red, but just a little darker. That is awesome. One more Lexus. I'm going to say this one's green, but <laughs> who knows? I could be wrong. No, it's blue actually. <laughs> It's a very nice blue. Like this is this blue is like kind of like dead accurate to the the real ones in blue. Uh, just in the dark lighting, they look so different. It's got like multiple identities. <laughs> Painted the brake light in this one too. Got the headlights, the markers. You got your tails, your big old tail lights. These things sported. They're really bigger than they needed to be, but I really like them. And of course, you kind of got a little two-tone factor doing here. It's like silver and blue. No, not silver and gold. I know we're in all in the Christmas mood, but no, this silver and blue. Love it, though. That's I love how many different paths you can take with the dying models. And, um, and the Lexuses are cool. But when we get into these Mazdas, look at that. I know, sorry to all the Hot Wheels fans, but this is like better than what the RLC can put out. <laughs> Color wise. Or like even, no, we'll say <laughs> the the Elite 64. But you can, I don't hate the line, I just. I don't know, they don't seem like premiums to me. Like, this is premium. Details are premium, too. Ooh. Yeah, this thing is spot on, and I love that color. So, these dyed models are always about the color. Oh, look at that. We got the, you know, like, we got the um, infotainment lit up, too. But this, <laughs> that's not as big as the Tesla. That one still cracks me up that the Tesla looks like an iPod. Or an iPad. There it is in there. I think like all Mazdas have infotainment like that. Love this color, but uh, there's one that is better than that. Well, I do like the Midnight Purple. But for Mazda's sake, when we're talking about Mazda, 
you have to have it red, right? Look at that. That is just perfect. It's just like that. <laughs> These are perfect. But mind you, mind you that this is, I mean, this is my, I, mean, I, I customized this one out of boredom because I stole the wheels from it. But this is the match, the red that Matchbox gave, and it's a little dusty, my bother for that. This is the red Matchbox gave us. This is the red that the real one is. You cannot buy a real one looking like this. I mean, this one looks stupid, but wow. And I think it kind of looks like he used pink to get that um, color. But of course, that's not compared to the Matchbox one. It's compared to the Tomica. Um, and of course, since he used the gray one as a base, this one's going to be like a little more shadowy in some areas but almost and, you know maybe if it was white it would be a little closer but you know it's still perfect still perfect this is how the monster tree should look like and I, I i really hate the matchbox the original matchbox one now because of that one I, it was funny when he discovered it too he's like well you gotta see this I uh, outdid Matchbox, which is very hard to do, I found. Very hard to outdo Matchbox, unless you're Tomica. But um, yeah, just uh, Matchbox had issues with the Mazda 3, and I think at that point they didn't care about the color. Even the gunmetal gray was better than that red one. But uh, yeah, so... And we still got a little more in the box, and... Oh boy. Definitely the Christmas box. Uh, we're going to need to move these Lucy's. These Lucy's. And I almost don't want to put them with the Matchbox collection. I really want to keep, well, his customs and customs that other friends have sent together. But at the same time, they do really fit in, especially these dyed ones. They fit in with the regular matchbox releases because they look like they could be a regular matchbox release well then you can see like the little details like the infotainment that he did on his own which you got above and beyond what matchbox could do i don't think even if they could do the infotainment i don't think they would i mean they used to way back in the day with like the the uh, premiere lines and stuff they did actually do like well, i don't know if it was exactly the you know infotainment but, um, yeah, he sent a good amount of Tomica. And this was totally unsuspecting. I knew about most, of, uh, well, I actually knew about all the carded stuff in here. Most of the customs were su a surprise. He did tell me he was going to send, I think, one of the, the blue Lexus, the brown Lexus, and the red Mazda 3. But I think the other ones were a surprise. But these are just, oh boy. And uh, I, I just did the Tomica opening video and I guess I'm gonna have to do another one because I mean, this video is already too long for me to sit here and look at these for like 10 minutes each, but oh wow. We got the Volvo C40 Recharge, which again, I typically don't, you know, I make exceptions for Volvo. Because I say, oh, I'm not big on European cars, but Volvo, make exceptions. <laughs> and, uh, yes, this is one that I really wanted. And the Honda Fit, too. Uh, it is an older release, and I think it is getting discontinued. So I'm really glad he sent this one to me because I did not have it. And I was kind of worried. I, I don't really think the Fit was going to shoot up that much in price, but I was literally worried about finding it after uh, it got discontinued. Um, next up, this is a really good one. The WRX STI Sport. Which we don't, we're not getting the STI versions in America, unfortunately. But it still lives on in Japan. This is the new gen WRX, which actually were really nice to put with 
the big daddy WRX over here that's not going to fit on the camera. This Chubaru WRX. I don't know, I really want to open these, but like, I'm yeah, we're already at 40 minutes. And this, will, this will be my first full production of 2021. Opening all these Matchbox, or oh, Matchbox. These Tamakas, actually I do want to open the Global Matchbox too. And, no, I'm going to, okay, I'll we'll talk about those in a second. The Camry Smart, Smart, Sport Unmarked Patrol Car, or Police Car. And that's funny, they said Police Car. They always say Patrol Car, and that's what threw me off. Um, and this one, I know, I know it has a comically large baggie inside. I think it was to protect the little uh, light bar from poking through the cardboard. But, yeah, the, the bag is really large. And what's next here? Oh, yes. The Fair Lady Z. Love it. And this one had a variation with the first color release. The first color had... Well, actually, this one looks like it has the spoiler. I don't remember what one was which, but this one might actually have the spoiler. And the first color doesn't. If not, it's the other way around. I can't remember off the top of my head because it's such a minute detail. But, uh, yeah, th this thing is awesome. They just did a... Um, uh, a red version available on the Nissan website, which, not to give diecast car crew any deals, but with or uh, any ideas with dying things, but uh, if he did get another silver one, he probably could dye it red. He might be mad at me for saying that because he he keeps dying the Lexuses. He can't stop dying the Lexuses, and uh, it might be a problem if he has to buy Tomicas to dye them too. But it'll definitely make some beautiful results. And here we got. One of the most unique cars, I'm not saying the most unique cars ever made, the Mitsusoku Buddy. And it seems like this generation RAV4 is becoming very fun to make body kits with. So you've got Mitsusoku here turning it into a Chevy Blazer. And there was some other company that turned it into a Lamborghini Urus. It's the same RAV4. But uh, I, I think I like this Blazer kit on it. Like, that, that's awesome. So, um... Yeah, can't wait to open them. Can't wait to open them. And we got three more. That's kind of like a mystery because I don't remember what the numbers are. And they're all upside down in here. So let's pull all three out. Oh, speaking of the RAV4. Oh, no, hold on. Speaking of the RAV4. There it is. You can kind of see the roof lines are similar. Especially that black line right there. Yeah. Um, I, don't, I know the RAV4 is going out of production too. I just don't know what's replacing it. Nothing here. Uh, the, the high jet is number 30. That's 33. I don't remember what is replacing these, but I know that they are. The RAV4 is another one that I wanted too before it got replaced. And then we got, why does this one have like a different baggie over it? That's interesting. Yeah, that's not the typical. It's got like a matte finish on it compared to that. Yeah, you can definitely see the finish is different. That's interesting. On the Nissan Note. Yeah, I love... I've seen a lot of photos of this one online and I really like it. It's, it's And it definitely looks a lot better than the old gen Nissan Notes, which honestly we're getting pretty outdated. And last but not least... The Suzuki Salu Saluo Saluo Salo. I, I don't know how to pronounce that Suzuki. Sorry, but uh, this is a really cool little K card. I think. Oh, yeah, this one doesn't have the same finish. That's, that's weird. But this one's like thicker. This is almost like the what the bag is made out of, and that holds the cars inside. Um, yeah, this is awesome, and that concludes. This mail call. I have to give a big thanks to... Di oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll conclude the mail call, and then we'll get to my other news. So, big thanks to Diecast Car Guru. Um, love these. I love everything. The customs. Uh, everything. We're going to move these for a second, as much as it will pain me to move all these Tomicas. We have to, because I've got... 
fucking one. These will be probably the first video I do of 2023. This is not going to be pretty moving these, is it? Whoop. I know, it's going to lift them up when my lamp is there. And I definitely have to send his box out, too. It's just... Alright, these two. What do I want to talk about? Well, as I said, this will be my last full production video of 2021. Or 2022. Jeez, I can't get it straight. For full production, I mean, like, actually... Like, my typical productions, I should say. I'm planning to do, like, a little 12 Days of Christmas. Where I take various models. I, mean, I would like it to be from 2022, but it probably won't happen. Because I want to... I want to have a diverse line of models. And they're all going to be premium-esque. I might throw... Actually, I might put some of those Tomicas in there now. Or I actually do still have the dealer-exclusive Skyline, which I might throw in there too. But I want to have a mixture of different models. We're going to have the normals like Hot Wheels, Matchbox, and Tomica. But I also want to put some green lights. It's a giant lightning. I know it's 12 days, so it kind of limited, limits me on the quantities. But I think these two will be perfect representatives for Hot Wheels. And, um, yeah, I still want to figure out the quantities. I know I'm going to have at least two Hot Wheels, and it's going to be these two. So, very excited to do that. So, every day, starting on the 14th all the way to Christmas, there will be a new video. It's going to be short. Okay, nothing 50 minutes like this one's going to turn out to be probably a, under five minutes where i just take a look at one car maybe compare it to something else and i'm done nothing else one car opening one car and t looking over all the details telling a little information about it and then it will work up to christmas eve and christmas which i'm gonna try to make a little festive we'll see i, I have a plan we'll see if it works out and then of course what goes from there in 2023 oh i just noticed they changed a little a little um hole at the bottom here Interesting. Okay, so what comes next in 2023? Well, it could be anything. Anything in this video, which I know I want to do the Tomicas and the Global Series ASAP. But it could also be... I've got a lot of moving parts that I could showcase. I've got some 2023 Hot Wheels. I still got to finish 2022 Hot Wheels. And we got some Subaru promos that he sent me last time that I, have to, I want to do a video on. And yeah, so very hectic time right now, trying to get everything showcased. I I have, I'm like mentally writing scripts on everything, you know, different jokes I want to say. I know, the, don't ask, don't ask me. I do sometimes plan jokes ahead. Sometimes it just happens spur of the moment. Those ones are always the best, but sometimes I do have small jokes planned. But anyhow... Before this video hits an hour, this might be the longest video I've ever done. Thanks again to Diecast Car Guru. This was just amazing, and I am so happy. So happy to get a package like this after school, of all things. You know, typically I'm like, oh, I'll just open it on the weekend, because I'm always happier on the weekend. Oh, no, but, yes, it is what it is. I, I was too excited to open it for the weekend. If I was gonna, I probably would have opened it tonight and I did the video on the weekend, but whatever. I'm doing this like the second I pulled it into the house. Whatever. <laughs> whatever it may be. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you on day one of 12 Days of Christmas. Thanks everybody. Happy holidays. Bye.